All right, so for our second example, we're going to look at the reaction of copper. This would be copper solid reacting with nitrate to form copper 2 plus plus nitrogen dioxide and we will specify that we want to um, <clears throat> balance it in acid solution. Okay, so um, like before we're going to break it down into the half reactions and look for mass balance. So half reactions and mass balance Okay, and then we would write copper forms copper 2 plus and then nitrate forms nitrogen dioxide. The coppers are balances, balanced, the nitrogens are balanced, and the mass balance step is to balance for elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. So we're okay with the mass balance step. Okay, now um, for the next step, we're going to rewrite the half reactions. And here we're going to look for, um, I'm going to put this in blue here, balancing the oxygen by adding water. to the side that needs it. In the first half reaction there is no oxygen so we don't need to do anything. In the second half reaction we're going to add one mole of water. Now we've got three oxygens on each side. All right. For the next step, let me make this part a little bit smaller here put it over here and then for the next step we're going to balance hydrogen by adding H plus to the side that needs it And we have copper forming copper 2 plus, nitrate forming NO2 plus H2O. There is no hydrogen in the top half reaction, so we don't worry about it. In the second half reaction, you've got hydrogen on the right hand side, and so you're going to add 2 H plus to the left to balance that. All right, then the next step will be to um, balance the charge. By adding electrons to the side that needs it going to write copper forms copper 2 plus and 2 H plus plus NO3 minus forms NO2 and a reminder to not forget to put your charges in. It's real important. All right, the right hand side of the copper half reaction <coughs> is 2 plus. So we're going to add two electrons to that. So now it's uh, neutral zero on both sides. For the second half reaction, that's a little tricky. You've got two positives and one negative for an overall plus one. So we're going to add one electron to the left hand side and that should do it. Next step, we want to uh, multiply the half reactions and uh, by coefficient so that the electrons balance 
In this case, the first half reaction will be times 1, the second half reaction will be times 2, so that when we add them up, we've got um, two electrons on each side. Okay, now let me squish things down a little more. Alright, so now we're going to multiply and add. You've got copper forms copper 2 plus, plus 2 electrons, and then 2 electrons plus 4 H plus, plus 2 NO3 minus forms 2 NO2s and 2 H2O add them together we're going to have and the electrons cancel so it'll be copper plus 4 H plus plus 2 NO3 minus forms copper 2 plus plus 2 NO2s plus 2 H2O that should be it that should be balanced and finally, we want to check, move that a little bit, check to make sure that everything's balanced. And so we're going to uh, count the copper. You got one on the left, one on the right. Hydrogen, you got four on the left and four on the right. Nitrogen, there's two on the left and two on the right. And then oxygen, there's six on the left and six on the right. And then the charge, you've got four plus and two negative, so it's plus two on the left and plus two on the right. So that should do it.